if you're writing down those ideas, which you've got like the whole team being like, oh, it could be this. And it doesn't have to be funny, right? If you're sat out there right now and you're an accountant being like, yeah, but my oh, God, no. Funny, yeah, yeah, right? really, it, it really doesn't. It just has to be, you know, if you've got a bunch of people working within a business trying to achieve something and everyone gets like fired up about something, that's a good idea. Like that is a good idea. If people are excited and there's conversation happening about it, there is something somewhere in there that you can post out and, yeah. kind, of, and kind of get out there. So social, right? You have a very uh, uh, visual medium. I would assume that Instagram is, uh, you know, where, where you'd focus. But I know that you're a, you're a, you're a LinkedInerizer. I am uh, a LinkedInerizer. Is that what we're called? No, uh, maybe today. today. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am mainly because you know what? It's weird. So um, I um, he, I detest everything Mark Zuckerberg is, is attached to. Right? No. <laughs> So um, I'll probably be killed. No, I, that, so that. you were having a hell of a day a couple of days ago with the internet. Oh, down. yeah, yeah. It was horrible, yeah. So I, I, um, I've always hated Facebook. Um, I detest WhatsApp. I mean, anybody who knows me knows that if you want to, if you're messaging me on WhatsApp, I might see it next week. I just, I just hit the instant thing. You know, like, because during the day, like, there's so many things distracting you, you know, just popping up at you. And instant messaging is one of those bloody things. It's, okay. it's constant. So, so I, I'm, I'm known yeah. at, at a lot, but I'm known by a lot of people as Jay has left the group because <laughs> I, <laughs> I literally am just like, oh, yeah. a message pre nine o'clock on a Saturday and goodbye, friends. Goodbye. <laughs> toodaloo. Toodaloo. So we've got, um, we've got a shared load of weddings coming up next year, right? As I'm sure a lot oh, of people yeah, have because people can make fucking tons of them. So, um, <laughs> And my favorite thing happened the other day. My wife's cousin, um, his mate started organizing his stag do and he created a group for it and didn't add me in. Yeah. And when my mate, <laughs> and when my missus went, oh, you, I think you've missed Dave out on this. He went, oh, no, I've done it on purpose. You can just tell him everything I'm going to say because he won't <laughs> want to see this. It'll annoy him. And, and I was like, he knows me well. He knows me well. I love it. <laughs> but all those groups I've left, my wife is still in them. <laughs> People still, yeah, people know not to add me to things now because I'll just be like, stop adding more noise to my life. There's enough in it. And I have to Your admit, way. though, on, on the WhatsApp conversation, I literally, I don't want to throw mental health around because it isn't mental, but like the stress, stress levels I was finding because like mm. all of my friends, all of the groups with all of my friends, you know, there's like the group with all the boys, boys and the girls in, then there's the boys group where we're just disgusting to each other. And then there's that group for just the band and that group for that. I, I literally walked away pretty much from WhatsApp as a whole. I still message a couple of people on it, but I've also got clients on there. I've also got messages that I have to reply to. Stepping away from it and not having to be like, Ferd, hello, Ferd, hiya. Man, it was great. It was really, really great. Yeah. Like it's been, mm. it's been nice not to have just like at least one thing, WhatsApp just being like ping, 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 every moment of every day. So I know it well. I know where you're sat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, I think, I mean, I'm sure he's a lovely bloke. Um, but his, um, but, but I'm not saying that until he buys LinkedIn. Okay. <laughs> thing you add, yeah. So, oh Christ, Christ. Um, but the, the routines he has festered in society, just this constant need to, to be doing the thing. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking, but so I, <laughs> so Instagram, um, I'm on it. Don't get me wrong. I'm on it and I do post on it occasionally, but I haven't put a massive effort into it. So I don't have, um, I've got like 600 odd followers on there because it's not mm. massive. It's just a thing that it's there. Yeah. So, um, but when I started thinking, right, I need to take social seriously. LinkedIn was the one that stood out to me because, uh, now this is back in 2019, I think. Um, I started taking it seriously, sort of the middle of 2019. Right. And I went on to it and I still, because the last job I had was all about music. All of my connections were in music. So sure. I, I remember looking at it and thinking, Christ, I need to change who I'm, who I'm kind of looking at you. So I kind of brought it up and I only had maybe like 200 connections because I'd never really used it. So I kind of stripped it back down to zero apart from maybe a handful of people and thought, right, let's try this again. And um, I remember looking through the feed and thinking, my God, this is dull. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but rather than thinking, right, I'm not going to go anywhere near this. All I could think was what a massive opportunity. 
right? Because this is so dull. This is so, this. What a great website! Because there's going to be so many people on here thinking what I'm thinking. You know, yeah. scrolling through and going, "Jesus, man, this." What are people on on here? This is the <laughs> thing imaginable. And also, it's such um, corporate messaging as well. Like the design. I mean, it's getting better because there's yeah. more people throwing out real content and there's more yeah, people yeah. like you putting out like, in, you know, setting the bar a bit higher. So people go like, huh, maybe, maybe we'll take one more swing on this horrendous webinar intro page. Um, but like it's, it's just like clearly, you know, when Canva started being prevalent, at least, uh, and I'm, I'm not a proponent of Canva. I really dislike it because it all looks the same and I can see yeah. from a mile away it was created on that. But at the very least, a bunch of people went whoop. And it yeah. started being like nice design was coming out. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. Death by, by PowerPoint, at least, yeah. was kind of was dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, right. So, yeah, I saw that as a huge opportunity. I thought, well, what? This is great. This is yeah. amazing. If there's ever a platform, and the organic reach was still really, I was reading about how good the organic reach was as well in yeah. 2019. I still think it's great. Um, yeah. And, um, I mean, so I, I, thought, I right, think that as well, because it's interesting that the, you know, more and more people are saying that I still think the organic reach is great. The paid isn't. The paid is very expensive. And I yeah, do I've, never done, know, I've never done the paid, actually. I don't know many people who have. How, I know yeah. lots of people who have like set up uh, one paid thing. They've done one paid thing. It costs, it costs the earth. But you know mm. why I know it's not a big thing? How many Facebook ad, ad people are there? paid ad people There's, you throw a stick you're going to hit 11 right yeah and yeah, how many yeah. and, and then how many google paid out people are there you throw the same stick you hit 35 of those people after the 11 yeah right? yeah i've never met I, I i literally live on linkedin pretty much i speak to nothing but linkedin people there's linkedin coaches a go-go i've never yeah. met a linkedin paid specialist see now don't you think that's a missed opportunity as well surely because uh, again i did i can't see who's here and who's on the chat or anything <laughs> but um there's a potential Claire Parsons might be here. Can you see her on the thing? But if she is, drop us a comment, Claire. Um, but if she is, we did a th we did a little video together a couple of months back because we were looking through our feed and the sponsored posts that came up were so drab that we were like, why are people spending money on these? Because I've never stopped on a promoted ad on LinkedIn. Never. Not me neither. Um, only for this video project that I did with Claire to rip the piss out of them. And we we decided to do a video where we would find a few that were, were, weren't were great and yep. she would redo the wording for them and I would redo the visuals for them. That's cool. I really and like we, that. Yeah, That's really cool. We just did that for a laugh just to see. So we filmed the video of us scrolling through the feed and stopping on a few things and going, well, what's going on here? Um, and then Claire would say, right, I know what to say here. And I'd go, right, well, I know what, how to make that look. And then we'd just muck around. And we did some really stupid stuff with it. But it was just to prove that... Um, you've got this real estate that you're paying some money for. And mm -hmm. and exactly what we've just said about the feed in general, um, it's a lot better than it was two years ago, obviously. But it's it's still a great place to make a stand, stand out on a feed. And you could do that so well with the promoted stuff as well. So I, I don't know why there aren't more people doing I, that. I and stuff. I genuinely think that it's, it's because there's quite a high bar to pay to play, people don't yeah. get to get good at it. Like, you know, it's and, a very and, difficult and thing to get good people at. Become, with that, people become less risky, don't they? Because they're like, well, I'm spending a lot of money on this. I don't want to take a chance. No. And with that, they... But um, how can you get good at something if you're not going to take chances? And if you're not going to take risks? And, and that is all the best paid, uh, you know, Facebook and Google has people I know who are like, yeah, listen, we're not going to do that because I tried that and it was a resounding failure. So yeah. now we're going to do this. You know, they've got the experience in it, just like everything. Um, yeah. But you don't want to do that if it's costing you £10 a, a, a click or something. <laughs> Jesus, oh, £10 a click, man. I mean, it's, it's up it there. Much? It's really expensive. Like, you know, we, we posted things out. And again, maybe it's because we did it wrong. And if there are any LinkedIn spe uh, paid specialists out there, get in touch, right? A, I'll spend some money with you. B, you can come on this show and you can talk it to us. Like <laughs> it feels like something that should be a thing, really, shouldn't it? I, it really do, it does. And if you're going to start that, that, then come talk to me. Yeah, yeah. And anybody that does it, like for Google and Facebook, they know that you need to spend a decent amount of money testing first before you even figure out what it is. So no one's going to do that if it's costing you ten pound a click just to figure out what works. So yeah. I spent a thousand pounds, and I now know. I now know. I now know I this spend. one doesn't work. And let's try the next one. Yeah. yeah. And now we can put some real budget behind it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that didn't work either. It's fine though. We've got another ten grand.